Wolves of Crowhan. The Untold Story of Milo. John Abdo. The Olympiads are pretty uncomfortable. Scorched by the sun, crushed by crowds. You get soaked when it rains. You are deafened by the constant noise. But it's all worth it for the brilliant events you will see. Epictetus. Book 11. Chapter 1. 61st Olympiad. Olympia, Greece. August, 536 BC. Milo's first Olympiad Games. Age 23. Our athletic training for the 61st Olympiad was both diverse and cyclic. After another 10 months of us progressively adapting our bodies to best ever levels of conditioning, Croton was prepared to compete upon a world stage in the grandest event of all. Needless to say, the anticipation in advance of Milo's first Olympiad appearance was at its highest since before the participation of Hercules at the inaugural games in 776 BC. Opening Ceremonies Isomachus continues Arriving by ship, boat, raft, wagon, horse, ass, camel, oxen, and foot, 30,000 strong turn up and he lies to watch the mightiest men the gods have created engage in athletic competitions. Dressed like mythological figures, children skitter in cross configurations through the parade. Dancers wave long sticks attached to colorful ribbons that pirouette through the air. Singers and poets recite myths as acrobats tumble to the sounds of horns and harps. Merchants and vendors exhibit their wares, shouting sales pitches from behind extravagant display tables. And amongst it all, shills and bookies conceal their faces behind hooded tunics, targeting the gullible with their assorted cons and schemes. As flowers are tossed and flags are waved, citizens from around the world revel in the grandeur of body after condition body passing before their eyes. These athletes are indeed the world's finest, supremely prepared after having endured Aegon for ten consecutive months. Marching with statuesque gates, all performers boast emotional swagger that visually embodies sentiments congruent with the aphorism, I will become immortalized for my performance at these games. Emblazoned with their country's insignias, two and four horse chariots, driven by elegantly built female equestrians, each wearing a white peplos to reveal one of her breasts, lead the procession of bearskinned athletes. Mascots proudly display their affiliations flags atop tall poles as the state runners waggle their arms in strides that will only accelerate during their races. All combatants, easily recognizable by their swollen ears and twisted noses, march in with clenched fists and tightened jaws. Wrestlers bend and weave their torsos, imitating takedowns and body throws. Boxers punch their fists into shadows, pretending to strike their opponent's jaws and the pancreationists squirrel their elbows in arcuate patterns, all the while kicking up their knees and darting out their feet to demonstrate their conditioned fighting tactics. Although I felt embittered about Milo being insulted for his victories at the World Youth Games, I came to understand the ignorance behind the objections. Comparing the level of competition at the Olympiad to the physical size and skill set of the youth competitors was really a simple matter of men versus boys. Olympiad athletes are the most supremely conditioned adult competitors produced by their countries. Their bodies are possessed of utmost strength, some having developed after decades of progressive agonic conditioning. Many are battle-tested soldier athletes, some decorated war heroes. And although they are foreign to one another, the single common thread that links them all is that they will engage in a weaponless military exercise disguised as an athletic competition, literally, fighting it out on a track or inside a pit. Unexpectedly, the collective mindset coming into these particular games is shrouded by extra tensions, instigated by the stories of Milo having recently succeeded Philostratus to become Croton's military commander. And although there are as many interpretations as there are storytellers, nobody knows exactly what it all means. After all, Milo's name translates to, the destroyer of enemies. Soldier of God. Some suspicions point to the Persians having secretly prepared a military force in Croton, and assigning Milo as their Gilgamesh, with the games merely serving as a platform to spread propaganda and gather counterintelligence.